hello everyone before we start the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download detailed and parametric revit blocks and use them in your project files the price depicted is of the complete folder which, which contains more than one uh, re, uh, family file for example this is the folder for the table which contains different type of tables uh, center tables to be used in the interior design projects and from this tutorials tab you can look at these videos in which i have explained in detail about how you can use those parameters and how and detailed information about each and every file so don't forget to visit this website now about today's tutorial it is about how to create a parametric false floor or a raised floor also known as the raised floor in your project files the method is quite easy and before we start it let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start okay now this is the revitcity.com uh, website from where i have downloaded the generic model block of that pedestal which is used below the uh, which is placed below the tile to raise the flow so download this file i have given the link in the description box open this file and this is what it looks like you can also create it uh, create this family file on your own but i just want you to save a little bit of your time so that's why i have used this block double click on it and it will open the family file save this and uh, kind of make you know two to three uh, uh, copies of this family file as we have to edit it okay so make a copy of it like by using the save as and give assign a new name to it now go to the top view of this of, uh, generic model of this pedestal and let's make a copy of it at a distance of one feet six inches Then place a reference plane at its center and assign a dimension to it let's say one feet six inches and a, a place a, one more reference plane here and assign the parameter uh, place the dimension of one feet six inches and assign the parameter which is would be tile length so it will help us in creating the tile as a parametric one after that uh, place some more reference planes as shown in the video now let's constrain all of these reference planes by using this dimension tool and lock it down so that they remain fixed at this distance now i have successfully uh, uh, placed the reference planes and assigned the constraints now select the extrusion command and uh, before that set the reference plane 
to this surface and select the rectangle and draw the profile for the extrusion like this and lock all the four sides give the extrusion end value of half inches now repeat this step on this side as well select the extrusion command and draw the rectangle like this lock all the four sides and give the extrusion and value of half inches okay so now let's place a tile upon it for that again select extrusion set the reference plane to this surface and draw a rectangle and let's give it an offset of minus 1 by 8 inches it will help us in creating grooves between the tiles it is just you know the detail which i want in the false floor so create the rectangle or square like this and then with the help of dimension tool lock the side with the reference plane at 1 by 8 inches and lock it down repeat this step on the remaining three sides as well Now give it an extrusion and value of 1 by 4 inches being the thickness of the tile. So our single component of the false floor is complete. Delete this one as we don't need them as we don't need it now and so now it is complete and it is ready to be loaded into the project and this style it is also parametric you can see that you can change the length and width of the tile and you can also increase or decrease the height of the pedestal so now we have our two family component files and now let's open a new project file of architectural template and in here in the level 1 floor plan let's create a floor a rectangular floor click ok and when you go to the north elevation you can see that it is placed on level 1 and it has an offset below it so i want to place i have loaded the file in the, into the project and i have placed it in one corner like this and if you and by selecting this file you, uh, this component you can change its dimensions as you can see in the video Now select this component and use the array command and place the second tile here. And then you can add the num add the, uh, the value for the number of tiles you want to place in this horizontal line. After that select all of these tiles and again use the array command and move it like this. And again add the number of tiles you want to place in this vertical side now I want to place the pedestal on this uh, on these other edges of this floor for that or oh, I have opened this uh, family file and let's create a copy of it
now go to the float plan and here let's place some reference planes as shown in the video Assign the parameter of tile length between these reference planes like this and assign the parameter name to it. Now constrain these reference planes at 1 by 4 inches like this so that it remains fixed and also constrain these reference planes as well. Now let's select the extrusion command, set the reference plane to this surface and then draw the profile for the extrusion like this. Make sure to lock all the four sides and give the extrusion a value of half inches. Now load this, save and load this file into the project and in the floor plan rotate it with the help of spacebar on keyboard and place it at its position like this and then make sure that it has the same dimensions as of the other component and with the help of array command place it vertically like this after placing them on this side again select the component and place this component here and again use the array command to move them horizontally and we have successfully created the false floor just one we need one more pedestal for that open this pedestal family file and load it into the project and place it on this corner like this and change its value to match with the other family files double click on the floor to edit its dimensions and place it like this the false floor or the raised floor is complete and it looks like this in here it is very easy to create you only have to create like the, the two fam, uh, family files and you can create a complete floor out of it using the array command so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe and visit my website